Stop, please, everything. Hello ladies and germs! Since my collection videos have been doing pretty well, I figured I'd do another one. Here's my Game Gear collection in its entirety. This is the box for my Game Gear. This is the case. Nothing excited about the case. I'm not going to show you too much of that. I, I think everybody's seen the standard Game Gear case by now, but I will show you this box because this is the Japanese version. And of course, you know, they run American games as well. There's no, uh, there's no region lock on these things. So there we go, there's the back. Notice how it shows. I should have got the TV tuner. That would have been kind of funny. But anyway, it shows all the little extras you can get for it. And here is the Game Gear itself. Now this one has been recapped. Uh, I bought it recapped, but I put in a uh, fluorescent, not a fluorescent, I put in an LED backlight into it. Uh, just so the battery lasts longer, plus it's a little bit brighter. The uh, the original lights were getting a little bit dim, and I decided, well, I might as well improve it a little bit. So I did do that to it. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. I didn't do the uh, I didn't do the LED uh, back. I, I'm sorry, the LED screen mod. It's just an LED backlight, not a complete screen replacement. So it has still the same characteristics of the original Game Gear, um, just just a little bit better lighting and using about half the batteries so that's not super exciting but somewhat exciting right all right let's keep going uh, i've got the game gear battery pack this one indeed uh still works which is kind of a rare thing i think i got that as a refurb a while back i uh, also have the power supply for it why wouldn't i here i'm gonna put this back because it's not very exciting to look at uh, also have the <laughs> the magnifying glass for the screen. I've never ever used this. I have glasses, so I just use my glasses if I need to, instead of some weird looking thing that I snap onto the unit. Never been a big fan of those things at all, honestly. All right, going on to the games. Here we go. Uh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2, of course, everybody has that. And then of course, Sonic and Tails. Uh, everybody gets that one because it came with the machine. Uh, we've got we got uh, Daffy Duck Deep Duck Trouble. There we go. My voice is still just coming back. So sorry about that. There's a couple stops in here. There's Aladdin. Check here is okay on this. Putt and Putter. Little golf action. Jungle Book. Here this is a good one to have for this too. Paperboy 2, I've played this. I enjoy it quite a bit. It's hard to keep up with it uh, because of the screen, but it's really not a bad game. So there it is, Paperboy 2. Next we have Dragon Crystal for Game Gear. I think I played it twice and I cannot remember a whole lot about it, to be honest with you. Next, inside this case, there is Sonic Spinball. Oops, upside down too. So wait, there. Sonic Spinball, which is really quite a good game as well. And if you haven't played that one, you definitely should. That's good stuff right there. Riddick <laughs> Boxing. Uh, I have never played this. Not once. I think I got it with the uh, red one. I've had a couple other Game Gears. I've had a blue one. And a black one. I've still got the frame for the blue one around here, and uh, the main board for it. It lost the uh, lost the sound system and a couple other things on it a while back. We've got columns. It's another. It's actually a really good game. I like columns. It's not bad. Uh, this one here. I'm gonna wait. Let me uh, get this. All right, here we go. This is Ninku. And this game is a lot like Pengo. It's really good. I, I enjoy this one a lot. It is the Japanese version. I don't think they brought this game to the United States. So uh, that's a really good one. I like that one a lot. Another one. Great port. But again, you know, the screen's just that little bit too small. Uh, Off-road. It's a great looking version of it. It plays really smooth. Yet... You know, the screen's just a little bit too small for off-road. It's too bad. 
Dex, did I already do this? Did I have the Lion King up here already? I didn't. Well, there we go. There's a Disney theme here. One of the uh, Game Gears that I got had a whole bunch of Disney games. So we've got Lion King. We've got G-Lock, which I've demonstrated on a couple of videos before. I actually don't even like the game, to be honest. It's um, it's a plane fighting game. You know, I don't really think too much of plane games up until uh, the 16-bit era, maybe even the 32-bit era. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit. Next, Shinobi 2. A little Shinobi action. This is another one that pretty much everybody who got the console got with it. There's a fairly common uh, ninja game for it. Urgh. Next one is not opening. There we go. Super Monaco GP 2. I've played this a couple times. It's not bad. Uh, it's not great. Just kind of in the middle there. Next we have Zool. Uh, and this is a really good version of Zool. It's too bad again. The screen has a really hard time keeping up with the game, which knocks a couple points off. But it has everything you expect in Zool. And Zool's a really good game. Uh, especially those of you who came from the Amiga will remember this game. And uh, it's Chuppa Chups tie-in. I don't remember. I think they changed the tie-in for this too. As I recall. I don't know. If anybody remembers, let me know down below. I'll probably play it afterwards and know. Haley Wars or Holly Wars. I think I got that with one of the uh, one of the consoles too, but uh, cannot remember which one. Barely played it. And now here's two. I've played quite a bit on this. Uh, we've got Pac-Man. Oops. Sorry. There we go. Pac-Man for the Game Gear. And we got Ms. Pac-Man. Because you should have both, in my opinion. If you have Ms. Pac-Man, you're probably not going to be playing the original Pac-Man. But, you know, that's how it is. Uh, next, we got another one of my favorites, Ristar. Or, is it Ristar or is it Restar or Rystar? I really like this game a lot. It's a platformer. It's fun. Really enjoyable. It's good on the... Uh, on the Genesis as well. Well worth playing. Should definitely check that out if you happen to have one. There we go. Um, next we have this Chinese puzzle game. Uh, Chinese, Japanese puzzle game. If anybody knows the name of it, I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. It's one of those ones that I just picked up at random at, uh, at an auction with a bunch of other games. So if anybody remembers the name of this, let me know. Uh, my, my Japanese is not at all good in any way, shape, or form. And then finally we have Pengo, which is excellent. And yeah, I noted earlier that I got kind of a fake Pengo game, and then I also have uh, the original Pengo, which plays really well on the console. It's a very nice, uh, very nice version of it. I like it a lot, and I happen to like the Game Gear a lot. And that is it. That is my entire Sega Game Gear collection. If you have any games you think I should add to this collection, particularly Japanese ones, I'm always looking for these uh, Japanese boxes. I love these. The games tend to be cheap. So if you know any good ones, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you later, probably in a couple days. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos